Okay, let's have a quick look at the pretty amazing Vizuino uh, visualizing microcontroller. I've got my Nano 33 BLE here and a Chow, uh, Ciduino Chow. So let's just try this from the top. Uh, open a, um, a demo and let's try formatted text. So the first thing you'll notice, it always loads up the Arduino Uno board. Well, this thing is going to switch it to a board that I'm interested in. And because it has the Nordic chip, uh, there we go, the Nordic chip, there's my Arduino Nano 33. And so this Arduino Uno is switching around to there we have, the Nano 33. Now, be aware, here we have a visualization of everything. Here we have a zoomed in. Here we have a ton of components that you can use. And I just want to give you a little sense of what's going on and what's important. So looking at this picture, the thing I clicked on right there, super important to choose your correct board. What's up there is upload to Arduino, which there's my Arduino. We want to get this code on the Arduino without actually doing a lot of coding. There was where I opened up the demo with the file. Here's super important in the serial port. Uh, we have ports, speeds, disconnect, and clear. So let's just um, go through this. Uh, here is a component and a component. A clock basically is going to look over here, uh, frequency of probably every two seconds. And then we've got a couple of text elements that if you move down here, we have the clocks going in and the text elements are going to, they're reading from analog zero and analog one. Um, so let's just have a, a quick look at this. Here I'm going to try to compile it, uh, but be aware of uh, the ports. So this one's not available yet, but that one is. So let's see if it can upload my code here to my Nano 33. Now, where we've got, we've got a little error here, probably because I'm supposed to double click this to put it into what's called bootloader mode. Then we've got COM10, so I'm gonna upload it. You could compile first, but this uploading thing is, uh, is kind of sweet just to go to upload. The compile button was right beside it, it's one of these. Uh, as I said, I've, uh, I've used this only once, and let's go to serial. What do we have here? We have a port, um, and let's try to connect to it. Let's upload it one more time just to see what's going on here. Now we're on that one. And different boards have their different uploading things. Uh, your ESP32, you're going to have to... There we go. So it's uploading. Um, it's writing it. And now I want to switch over to serial. Let's check. There's the upload port. There's the serial one. I'm going to connect. And it's reading these. And I have nothing um, connected to this. So it's just reading uh, randomly low numbers. But this is an example of um, how visual this is and um, how there is no coding there. I'm just connecting things up. So what becomes important are these components and the use of it. So let's go back to, oh, well, let's have a, a look at some of these components. So what I've done, I've just uh, zoomed them out here. I'll, I'll go back here and show you what's happening here. Uh, let's disconnect that. Move this over a little bit. And I don't know right now why it's, there we go. So this is the, the math one, and you've got all these components you can use. You click on them to zoom in. So that's what I've been doing is I've been zooming into these ones. So let's look at this other page. So here are the components all zoomed in, so unsigned. And these are locked ones that uh, you would pay to use. Let's just uh, 
look around here at some of these different things. So these are all components that are object-oriented in that um, when you click on a component, you can access their information here instead of having to program it. Well, at some point, it would be nice to see the code actually on the Arduino. So let's send this code to the Arduino. And this is where um, beginners or people who know they really don't like coding might just like to stay in the visual side of things. And there we go. I was wondering where it was. Let's get rid of this one. So here's how the code looks. It's all organized. You have your includes, and then you have your public folders, and then you have uh, more public information. Let's see if we can find setup. So namespace. And this is one of the things. Here, here, here's the issue. When I make a web page, I make it from scratch because I'm typically doing something reasonably advanced, and I want to totally control it. But lots of people make web pages using some visual editor, which allows them to really concentrate on the end product. And here we have, um, I'm just trying to find the setup. So here we have what Visuino is doing in the background. It's doing all of these extra things for us so we don't have to worry about it. Um, all we have to do is get these things in the right spot. Now, I mentioned I have a um, Seduino Chow here. If I just look down for Seduino and click on Chow, the whole thing changes. There we go. Now, here is the Seduino Chow board. This board's like $7, and it's all laid out uh, with the different channels with the different things it can do. There's your serial input. There's your LED input. Um, you've got more examples you can do. Definitely, this uh, Visuino is something that experienced um, programmers just for that visualization of the board or even for checking out some of these uh, components. Definitely interesting to experienced programmers. but that huge group of people who want to be able to program but don't actually enjoy code really need to look at this and spend some time figuring out these components. Uh, there is a massive amount of stuff here. This is a huge undertaking, and Vizuino has, has really done a good job.